Today. I have a chocolate lab okay. that has been spayed twice and is still having heat. She's been spayed twice? Mm hmm Was it done by us? It was not done here. Okay. Was it done at two separate clinics? All right. Um, that's interesting. I've not heard of them being spayed twice before, and now for a third time. Let's go on into the room here. Come on. Let's go. All right. I'll get the doctor in here shortly. Thank you. You're welcome. We've had her since she was a puppy. Kino's been spayed twice. Obviously, there's something still remaining inside of her. She's still having heat cycles. So we really just want to come in and get this fixed for her so she won't have to go through these any longer. We don't have any kids, no other pets, so she is our baby. I work from home, so she's my little companion. She's my protector. She's my talking buddy during the day when I get lonely. <laughs> Morning. I'm Dr. B. Austin, nice to meet you. Hi, Kino. You gonna let me look at you? I know you're kind of scared of me. Come here, girl. Come here. She's shaking. <laughs> it's okay, girl. Go be nuts. Let's go. She's had a bunch of bad experiences with vets, so this is not her favorite place. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. It's All right. Okay. Hey, Kino. All right. You like that, don't you? That changes things. She trusts me about as far as she can throw me. Yeah. She appreciates the treats, though. <laughs> Looks like we got a few things to talk about here. Yes. So with the second surgery, we took her in while she was in heat, brought her in, no issues. We went to pick her up, and the first words that came out of the vet's mouth was, well, with this exploratory surgery, and it was kind of disheartening that at first he was so confident, and then it was exploratory. And he wasn't able to, he was, right. wasn't able to find it. What you're describing sounds like we have an ovarian remnant. The thing is, if she has an ovarian remnant in there, essentially she's in the same boat as if she hadn't been spayed. Mm -hmm. um, she's not gonna get pregnant, obviously, because she doesn't have a uterus to support the pregnancy, mm -hmm. but we can still get a pyometra, which is a, an infection of the uterus that can be life-threatening. Mm -hmm. He did remove something from her, okay. but obviously it wasn't the remnants of the ovaries. She's still having heat cycles yeah. at this point, so. Well, you know, I mean, Dr. Jeff is an expert in this type of surgery. Mm -hmm. He's found ovarian remnants before. Just wanted to do it one last time and be. Yeah, I think we can get you taken care of here. Any questions you have before I take her back? I feel like she's in good hands at this point. Give okay. you a call when we're all done and have some more answers for you. All right. Enjoy, be good this time. Girl. Come on, Kino. Well, that last surgery, it was just heartbreaking because it was a, a pointless surgery, really. And for her to have to go through all that pain, <laughs> I'm gonna start crying again. It was just me and her were up all night last time. And she was just crying in my arms. Come here, babe. It's comforting to talk to Dr. B and this is a surgery that they know how to do and it'll get done once and for all. An ovarian remnant can be difficult to find sometimes, especially if it's small. But Dr. Jeff has done this a lot of times, so I'm pretty confident he can get it done. Hey, buddy. Stay. Good dog. All right, Kino, you're going to go to sleep, buddy. All right, buddy. Right. Is this the third time this dog's been opened up to be fixed? So someone the first time around obviously left something in. And that can happen. I understand that. But this went to another vet. They took something out, but she's still going in the heat. Um, so it's a little weird. So I don't know what we're going to find other than a lot of scar tissue, but we're going to look for a remnant of an ovary. And I feel like I'm pretty good at finding these. So. All right, let's do this. Now, let's see what we got. Got to, to go up a little higher. Okay, pull that up. I don't see anything that looks like a remnant. Right, let's try the other side. You're gonna have to shift everything this way. Yeah. The ovary should be right below the kidney. Where the hell's the kidney? I honestly can't find the kidney. I don't think someone actually took a kidney out. Wow. I mean, kidneys are big. I'm not finding one on that side. 
Someone took something out here at one point. There was a lot of scar tissue. <laughs> you found it? So you found the ovary? I think so. Just too nice. That's it. it. Looks like a big old piece of ovary. It's big. It's pretty far up. It looks like you got it. That looks very much like an ovary. It's very much like an ovary to me. Tying it off. All right, we're done. Okay. This was a tough surgery. Keno's been operated on a couple times already, so you get a lot of scar tissue. We got an ovary out, and that's what matters. Keno should go on and not be in heat anymore and live a long, healthy life with any luck. Either someone took that kidney out or just never was born with one. All right, buddy. I have a nephew that only has one kidney. He's healthy as a horse, so there's no question you can live with one kidney. You know, you give her three days, she'll be running around. She is a Labrador, and I don't think we're going to slow her down a whole lot. You're OK, Kino. We're so ready to have Kino back. There's something missing in the house. When you get home, she's not there to greet you. Come here, baby. Come on, Kino. We know she's been in good hands, and it's going to be nice to have her completely healed up and ready to go again. Let's go. I am just so excited ready for her to have her life back and our life to be a little bit more normal after three major surgeries, so. Look, I got a surprise for you. Oh my gosh, Poppy, <laughs> finally. All right, y'all. We're gonna do that cone for two weeks, okay? And you never hesitate to bring her back if you have any other concerns, okay? Awesome. And Dr. Jeff will be right back in. Thank you. Of course, you all have a good one. You too. Thank you. How's it going? Yeah. Well, Kino, who are you barking at? Who are you barking at? You're barking at me. What? 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 It's what? okay. It's okay. So we did find ovarian remnant in there, small piece. Um, was it the third time she'd been opened up? Yeah. No, I don't know. It happens. That's all I can say. Happen has not happened to me. Knock on wood. I hope. Not that I know of, anyway. Um, but I've had I've had a few vets leave little pieces in from time to time. And I think too, if there's a small remnant when you opened it up, if she was out of heat or something like that, you might not even see it with hardly you know with the human eye. The truth is, ovarian remnants can be just tiny. I mean, literally. The remnant that was taken yeah. out, how large was that? It's about the size of a pea. It doesn't take much material to make them go into heat. You know? Right. So getting that out of there, she'll definitely no longer go into heat. So thank goodness. If she does, then I'll uh, I'll be a monkey's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, just to let you know, in the surgery, I I'll be honest, I did not see a kidney on that side. You know, and I looked around for it. You know, and I didn't find a kidney at all. Um, she could have been born without one. Her last surgery, he said he took something out. Wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, I don't. You know, it's I don't know. It's solved now, that's the biggest thing. And we feel a lot more comfortable with the outcome of this surgery than the past, so. Well, appreciate that. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thank it's you. amazing. We All appreciate right. it. No yeah, problem, thank you, thank you thank very you. much. Relieved at this point that we know the proper surgery has been performed. Everything that needed to have been taken out in the first two has actually been taken out in the third. I just feel so much better that it's taken care of now. Ready to go home? 